Hello, this time you are going to make a hallucination effect as a post-process. First create a material and then click it to open the window. Next, set the material domain to post process. Create a scene texture node and set the scene texture ID to post process 0. Next, create a component mask node and connect it to the scene texture node. Set the connected component mask node to our channel. Next, duplicate two more scene texture nodes. After that, change the copied component mask nodes to G and B channels, respectively. Next, use the Make Float 3 node to make the component mask nodes in Float 3 format. If you connect the Make Float 3 node to the emissive color, you can see that the viewport background returns to its original state with the R, G, and B channels applied back to the background. Next, create three text chord nodes and connect them to each of the scene texture nodes to create UV. Then hold down keyboard and click to create two add nodes and hold S and click to create two parameter nodes and set the names and values of the parameter nodes as in the video. Next, connect each of the parameter nodes to the Add node. Next, add the Add nodes to the text chord node of the scene texture nodes as shown in the video. When connected, the red channel and green channels apply to the background move as much as the value of the parameter, and the chromatic aberration phenomenon is visible on the screen. Now, let's create a hallucination animation. Create a time node. Next, create one more parameter node and set the name and value. Create a divide node and connect the time node and parameter node to the divide node to adjust the speed of the time node. Next, create a sign node and connect it with the divide node. Then create a multiply node and multiply the sign node and red shift parameter node to form a sign graph. Now, when we connect the multiply node to the add node, we get a hallucination animation with the chromatic aberration moving. Save and return to the content browser. Next, find the character blueprint and open it. Click the Add Component button to create a post process. Next, go to the rendering feature of post process and add an array of post process materials. Click on Asset Reference on the array you added. Go back to the content browser and set the material created so far to array. Now, you will see a hallucination effect on your screen.